Alrighty, folks. Welcome back to part three of this World of Warcraft level to 60 in hardcore. First time leveling a character to 60. Um, epic journey that we're on. Last time we did a bit of housekeeping over in Orgrimmar. And now we're going to get back to the questing, which means we have to head back to Senjin Village here from Razor Hill. So, we'll be heading down the road here and over to the islands to finish up these quests on the islands here. We also have a bunch of bag space available to us now, which is very exciting. And we'll be getting that done and then heading back to Razor Hill to pick up quests, which will include that fort there and a few other things that we can do in the area. Because I think we have to find some Razor Mains and a few other things here. And I think there's a quest a little bit later on down the, the Razor Hill quest line where you fight some of those big Thunder Lizard things. So, you know, we've got a few things going on. It should, it should be a good time. Bloodfoot, the level 10 orc hunter, is doing some business up here as well. well. You know, good for him. Good for him. We love to see other folks getting their hardcore on. What we're going to do now is go ahead and speed through the rest of this section, and I will see you guys once we get back to Senjin Village. All right, and we are back. We're going to be making our way over here. Hopefully we won't get waylaid by too many bits of nonsense as we get across the water. And once we've got all that taken care of, we will um, we'll head back up. So I think the big islands... I don't remember which one's which. Maybe the biggest one is where all the the troll stuff happens. And then the tigers and the dinosaurs are on the smaller ones. It's been a really long time since I did any of the early leveling. There's one. I can just go ahead and start skinning these as well, right? There's one over there. We'll go this way. Okay, so there's a tail lasher. Do they drop the eggs on their own? We have to get eggs from them. Or is that... Like a thing we have to collect? It must be a drop, right? That uh, eviscerate really didn't do much. All things considered. Which is, I guess, fine. And then we... In. Nice. Here, eggies. Kacha. Oh, I guess they don't drop it. Okay, I thought they did. That's my bad. I guess we'll figure out what exactly is the requirement to get those drops. Uh, and then we'll go from there. You know? Got him. That guy hurt. Go ahead and step out a little bit here so that we're on the safer side. And we won't have to worry as much about, um, you know, getting wailed on while we regen our health here. I think it'll be good. I'm confident, in fact, that it will be a decent experience overall, so I don't think we have a ton to worry about. Give me your huevos, senor blood tail. No, blood talent tail. There we go. English is hard. Herbert der. Didn't drop any either. The dick.
What an absolute butthead. Okay. What about now? So far, no eggs, huh? Which is honestly kind of lame. I feel like I have to be doing um, I feel like I should have got one by now. Getting leather scraps and stuff. Go. Oh, it's easy. But you have walked past a bunch then. Well, live and learn, I guess, huh? Bloodfoot, the orc hunter. He's level 10. Maybe he knows something I don't about being out here. Scary to, in a scary place. Wanna get in the habit of skinning these guys. Got our first piece of leather. Exciting. Missed. Well, I guess that kind of works in our favor because it wasn't going to kill at that point. Either. The fur. Do the eggs grow or grow? Are the eggs around the plants? Shade. Oh no. Okay, maybe I didn't miss anything. I have to find spots where they spawn. Keep going this way to the smaller aisle south here. To the big the big guys out there. The large boys. Huge dudes, if you will. I guess that technically means I don't have to fight anything to get what I want. I just have to find where the eggs are. Here's one. Okay. I can skin these. Come on. I need to keep, the ca I need to keep it together. What I thought. I can skin, yeah. I gotta, I gotta keep the habit, or get the habit. It's gonna be my primary way to get some decent green tier gear in a little bit, and also I can make quite a bit of money on doing it. I'm consistent about it. So. Gotta keep that in mind also. They're like purple eggs. Oh, this tiger has decided we will do combat instead. I'm like, I'm fine with it, you know? I'm gonna get too eviscerated, it's gonna die first. Okay. Okay. So what does that leave us here? We need to go this way, maybe? We need to find the rest of the eggs. We need one more clutch of them to get where we're going. So I'm hoping we'll see one over on this side of the island without needing to go anywhere else. Um, no, no. Also, no. Okay, I guess we are going to the next island. Screw it. I don't want to sit around and wait for things to respawn or randomly have a chance to spawn. We've got places to be and things to see. All that other good stuff. Very tropical. If there weren't 
dinosaurs and sea monsters and giant tigers all over the island. I, I could see people uh, chilling and living on these little tropical boys. Mind you, respawn rates don't work in real life the same way. So if a group of folks wanted to settle this island, they absolutely could get their equipment together. There's some over there. Well, left over there by that guy. Anyway, let's fight this one first. How many... You parried my attack. Blow him up. He survived the eviscerate. He only did 27. Diggity damn. Okay. This is the guy that is gatekeeping my actual quest objective. And then we'll go up that way, I guess. I only did 36 on three stacks. What are, what are the rules? I don't understand. But I suppose that's fine. I don't need to understand. I just need the quest item. Okay, so now we're gonna fight text trolls, voodoo trolls. We're gonna find Min Minshina's skull and cut off someone's head. Or we need to kill two people and take their heads. Or something. We'll figure it out. What's the quest log say? How is it? It's still orange. We should do this one. Okay. Should I be worried? This quest is orange right now? I could go turn these in. Back. Maybe I just, um, level up or something on purpose out here? That's highly concerning. We've got a, an orange tier quest in our, in our book. I certainly don't want to get get dead. The series ends. We didn't make it out of Durathar. Oh no. Some like houses and stuff. But I don't see Hey, there's a troll. This is a hexed troll. They're level 9, which is very scary. Yeah, I see why this quest is orange marked. I think I'm still level 7. Oh, okay, if I win this fight, I'm gonna be very happy. Okay. That's slightly concerning. Okay, that does pose a little bit of a problem. Now, fighting the trolls should actually get me the level I need. Um, once I once I find more of them, but we have to be careful because I took a beating from one regular enemy just because they're such a higher level. The level seven. I need to skin the tiger. Come on, we keep saying it. Eventually, we'll, it'll be come through. We gotta skin the tigers. <laughs> okay. And that's a voodoo troll. And this one has a... No, oh, he has a staff also. Okay. This one's level 8. This one should be a little bit more manageable. Maybe. I don't know what that does, but it makes me nervous. He's dodged two of my sinister strikes. Healed. Oh no. Oh, it doesn't do any damage. Oh, but we got him to run? Oh, if his AI wasn't terrible, he would win this fight. 
better than what I'm wearing? Just buy one. Put that on. Okay. This quest is super dangerous. Back up here. And reassess our situation. Because I feel like that situation needs to be that we fight stuff until level eight. Um, just to be safe. Okay, so far, we're okay. We're still okay. I interrupted my own skinning. There we go. Wonder if I've done that before. And if so, how many times? Okay, nice. Doing the skinning be still while my health kind of regens for a second, which is good. There. An easy... This hex troll is level 8. Yeah. I wonder if I can try stealth, stealth attack him. Maybe I'll, I'll try that on this hex troll over here. That might be fun. Just to see if that makes a difference. So let's um let's give it a shot. We'll stealth over. What if I could pick Is this worth it? Should I just try for damage? Oh, I should just try for damage. Okay. He found me. That was a disaster. Okay. So that didn't necessarily go as smoothly as I would have liked. But... At least I'd only gotten a fight with one person, you know? That we can sort of plan appropriately from there. Our bags. Our bags are in such good shape because we have so many of them. Still need to kill a lot of trolls. Oh, nice. I want to aggro from way over there. This one's level 9. That's scary. Okay. Oh, he's going to heal. So annoying. Popping this. My only potion. The voodoo trolls are way more dangerous than that. Still halfway through. Oh, hey, this increases my stamina. And spirit is energy. Spirit. Health and mana, so probably not. I'll take the bonus to my health, like. Online voodoo troll. 
level 8 voodoo pearl. I guess I'll try my hand at the level 8. Because I certainly don't want to try fighting the level 9 one without the potion. That one didn't heal. Why didn't that one heal? Hey, I got my potion back. But it's still on cooldown. Come out here and... Flash here. All my potions on cooldown. This is gonna be a whole thing. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go this long way around, I think. If I can't find a couple more people to pick off that are just walking around. Uh, we also don't know where the, the main dudes are. We gotta keep our eyes out. I don't think we're gonna be able to fight them. Oh, those were big crits. I'm also wondering if I can do this, you know, kind of off camera or whatever. Or, you know, and let me know also if um, in the course of the series you prefer that I don't cut out or, or fast forward through stuff, even if it's just the walking segment. I was just trying to keep it, the, the pace moving along. I know this is going to be a lot of long videos, um, so hopefully folks find some great enjoyment as, as a background series or sort of... World of Warcraft docu-series where we are just chronicling something. Um, this definitely supposed to be a very kind of laid-back experience um, in terms of just embracing the long form nature of doing something. So, let me know. Um, but what I might do, the reason I say that is because what I might do um, is at a certain point here like, I might try to farm out the rest of these 10 kills. And then go back um, to town and see if I can't get a better weapon than my little knife. My little knife. Maybe, you know what? I wonder if that guy would be interested in grouping, at least for the boss kill. That's kind of defeat the the purpose, you know. And another thing I will say on the subject of this is that if we if we do make any decisions about about courses of action, these videos are going to be recorded, you know, with a backlog in mind, so that I I have cushion to have days where I I don't need to worry about recording, and cutting stuff down, and, and publishing videos. So, uh, if we do decide stuff, there will be definitely some time in between uh, where the series is and where those changes get made. So, that is another thing. So. Good. The Hex Trolls, I'm getting pretty comfortable fighting. We are about 460 experience away from being level 8. Which is really good. I'm gonna throw axe at that one and then run this way. Because this looks like a good place to take this fight. It's just kind of away from that house. Wow. Dabbing for two. That's doing quite a bit of fire damage. Makes me a little uncomfortable. Nice. Okay. Good combo. Dude, I still have 10 minutes on. Also level 9. I have to wait. I guess I could eat the tough jerky. Oh, doesn't matter at this point. 
Yeah. How much damage does a person have to do to interrupt a spell ghost? I know, if I recall correctly, you have like a channel bar for spells. And then if you take damage, the channel bar goes down a certain amount, and if you take enough damage, it sets the bar back to zero, and that like cancels the spell cast. So am I like even remotely close to that? I want to make these just and put them on my bar somewhere. Because I feel like it's gonna matter at some point out here. In the bag. The bandage is on the hot bar. Okay. Okay, X troll slain. We've got eight of those down. How are we? We're at 43 out of 45. I really want this level. The voodoo trolls stress me out. The heal. They seem to just do more damage in general, honestly. Pig? Scared the shit out of me. Like, absolutely spooked me. I was like, this is it. I've aggroed something else, and this is the end. Got six leathers. Now, leather scraps can be turned into more leather, I think. Man, how many do you need? Is it two or three? Oh, we should stack those. If we had thread, we could actually... Upgrade some of them here. Quite a bit, actually. Okay, that's good to know. Let's tag. Do it. No, he got the key. Oh, no. I tried. I tried to combo him, but it didn't work. level up. He's got the right idea. Real strong. I'm just... Uh, I didn't dish out that damage in the same way. He's gonna heal. He got... Oh my gosh, he's so much health. Okay. Well, we've got all five stuff now. This should do like 30 damage. No, 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 Go this way. What is this? Jumping. The level 8 level up is assuming that no one at this point had spread as... Had pressed spacebar. Had spread acebar. I was real struggling to say had pressed spacebar there. That was rude. Okay. But being level 8... Our skills are going up, defense skills a little higher, our damage is going to be a bit better, our stats have gone up, and we use our, um, our daggers. All that's going to matter. Yeah. I I'm not going in the big burned out. I will wait. That a voodoo that's a voodoo troll. That's that's my guy right there. 
Eat. I think that electric thing works. The voodoo trolls hit a lot harder or something. Maybe I should have eviscerated there instead of Sinister Strike for another stack. Who could say? See, how come that one only did 21 damage? I don't understand the rules. I need one more voodoo troll. And then I need to find that's a heck of a troll. I'm gonna fight him anyway. The voodoo troll over there in that like like thing. Yeah. Okay. That guy, there he is, level ten. I can I get to him safely? I doubt it. Voodoo troll. Throw a knife at him anyway. That's a hex troll too, dang it. It's a voodoo troll. What determines... What does that do? Target spirit. What spirit do? Health regen. I'm probably going to use that when we go for the boss fight. Is that a voodoo troll? That's a voodoo troll. Can I aggro him successfully without alerting all the guards? This way. Here by this wall. This seems relatively safe. I read my attack. What a little bitch. I did it that time. Okay, so the boss is two levels higher than... Now, I have a potion. If, if he heals, I lose. I think. If he can heal. At level eight. I honestly think that's what's going to determine the outcome of the fight. Is whether or not he knows it would ever heal the doing. My guess is that he knows all of their spells. Right? Orkberry has died. Oh no. It's like, oh, he's hitting me. Oh no. It's just a uh, hex troll. We should be okay. Nice. All of these trolls appear to be casters exclusively, so I doubt I'm going to get any drops that are in any way meaningful to playing the rogue. Um, which is unfortunate. Really? We can still farm leathers. Leathers are good. I'm really nervous about fighting Salazane at level. level eight. If I had higher damage, I think I would be more. Uh, my damage is nine. My D my DPS is five, which I feel like is really low. If 
feel like I'm gonna make the call to turn these quests in, trade out my gear, and just get better equipment. Where's that was it? We're doing hardcore. We gotta be safe. And I can't wear the chain belt. Yeah, but yeah. We're doing hardcore. Our objective should be to survive and play safe, even if it's more time consuming. So the question then, let's go into this menu. I have 10. Or I need seven. I have 11. The armor kits. I feel like I want to farm. Like just farm out some extra leather. And hopefully we'll get a few more drop pieces for some stuff to sell. I also want to go ahead and look up the recommended levels for Rage Fire. Check it out. Ragefire Chasm is a level 13 to 8. Okay, so I have a lot of wiggle room for levels here. Fifteen when we go in, maybe? Maybe sixteen? Get the best equipment possible and then run that first dungeon. Because Wailing Caverns is not far off. I think that's up into the like early to mid twenties. And then I don't think I've done any other horde dungeons besides those two. So, you know. We'll have to see what happens. But yeah, if we get some more scraps and stuff. I think that's gonna be the call. I don't know, I'm trying to plan my steps, my moves here. We go to Razor Hill. I have to go to Orgrimmar. I have to get the... Well, there might be a general goods merchant right here. If, if... I should accept all the quests in Razor Hill. We'll go back. Because if they're not... Listed in our log as... Super... Well, this isn't orange anymore. It's just yellow. Maybe I just level to 9 and then fight the boss. By, like, farming the... Maybe that's what we do. I'm gonna go back to Razor. I just that's officially what's happening. But I want to have at least 20 leather when I go. So that's what's gonna happen. Well then, I guess I'm gonna let this fast forward again, and I will see you when I have the leather and I've gone back. So it's occurred to me that I actually do need to swim back to Senjin to turn in the tiger fur quest, so we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna go to Razor Hill and deal with the inventory, and we're gonna come back to fight Zalas. That's the plan. Now. I stayed a little longer than I intended farming the fur. I went until my skinning skill was 50. I think that's the level. Let's try that again. I think that's the level I need it to be at. To tier. In the skill. The past print level. Bit. Savvy Gabby. Yeah. The full shaman. Oh 
Oh my god, that's huge. We have fourth bag. We have all our six slot bags now. I actually love that for me. I'm so happy it happened when I brought the recording back in. What does that mean for us? It means that we need to get all of this inventory management dealt with and then slide back over there to finish this quest. I'm very I'm I'm really stoked about it. I don't remember who we need to turn to. But I am fairly confident. Ah, there it is on our mini-map. Practical Prey. That's the quest we were looking to turn back in, and that's the quest we're getting turned in. How convenient. It's going to... Bell Rin Fang. There you go. Money I'm very excited about. Okay, so what does that mean for us is we're gonna take this to Razor Hill. That's the trip that way. Okay. And then we need the general goods merchant if there is one. Trade supplies. It has thread. And I can sell to him. That's good enough for me. What's this at? 10 silvers? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, pop open the leather working. First, we're gonna make as many of these as we can. That'll boost my leather work skill. gonna make all these hand stitch level things. I like that I had perfectly enough to divide out so I don't have to waste a, I, I, an item slot. That's what we're looking to say. We don't have to waste an item slot. I know we have 30 leather so I need mine's better. I need four quarters. Oh, gonna work. that first equip all of those that character window we're gonna make some armor kits too We're just going to upgrade everything that will let us put the kits on. And then... And a better knife. put it on everything. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do it.
That item is not a valid. That item. That item. Target. But the gloves are. That works for me. Okay. Now I need a guy who sells weapons. <laughs> Oh, well, whatever. I made mine cooler. I'm also going to start accepting quests. Oh, and the cook will let me turn in the, the eggs, too. We're going to experience point. Dude, if we can get to level 9, then this is going to be easy peasy. First aid, general good. Do you sell weapons? Probably not. Oh, not. I could get Flint and Tinder for hires, but I don't need that right now. I'm in trainer, warrior trainer, no weapons. That's okay. That's okay. I'm this way. All right, we got these two quests we're gonna take. We're gonna get a huge boot upgrade. That trainer, hunter train. Rogue trainer, I'm gonna talk to him too. After the quest. Take another level in eviscerate, evasion. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're gonna be just fine. In terms of combat power, the upgraded of his, the damage increases like pretty significant. Stacks get higher. Sky warm. Egg. Eggs. Get back. Food. Which is. Great and all. Arcs. Not doing that quest. The, the tough one. Stable master. Armorer. Miner. Weapon smith. No, I don't have a ton of gold. I have seven silver. But I can afford the upgrade. I'm gonna take it. fine with it. I know it's it's not a ton, but it's something. Hey, okay, we're gonna go finish the Zalazan quest. That was awesome. I'm so excited. Alrighty, folks. Now we're back here on the island. Time to head over to... Alizane should be... Oh my gosh. I also want to check my... Here we are, smacking the shit out of this tiger. That felt pretty good. We're just gonna fight our way across the island. We need to get to like. Yeah. Which is uh not where we currently are, so there is there is that to consider. That we have to walk. The long, long walking. Classic wow.
but that's okay. No? We just have a few things we need to take care of. Tiger. And we'll be well on our way to the we want under this quest line. I feel like we've done this like the most convoluted and time consuming way possible, but we're still alive, and that's all that matters. I have to fight my way through this cave. Because if that's the cave, that's gonna be rough. Maybe there's a way up the back we can just climb it. I'm gonna try that first. I don't wanna fight that many guys. I think we can go up right here. It doesn't look super steep, you know? Shit. Don't get scared now. Trying to punch me? It's like a boxing ex. Did it. He was so easy to kill. He spent all that time prepping for this. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's that's really funny actually. He went down like immediately. He didn't even get the heal spell out. I had evasion on the bar. I was ready to fight him. I had the potion ready, the evasion. I was ready for him. But I upgraded all my armor, so him punching me didn't do that much damage. It's the funniest thing perhaps ever. And I'm not just saying that, definitely. Maximum level hilarious. Being being over prepared is impossible, right? That's going to be the motto of this adventure. That it's impossible to be prepared. But also, I believe I did that to myself. I spent so much time worrying about it. You know? We level. Next thing we do. It's tiger. We're gonna... Okay, we're not gonna do the tiger. But we are gonna level up by fighting the tiger.
Okay, now that we've arrived back in Senjin Village, we just have a couple of quests to turn in. But we're really going to start focusing on our journey up to Razor Hill. Did we get both quests from this guy? We did. Okay, here's the skull. I will receive the skull back. We're going to take the better leather gloves here, and then we'll put the points. It has three more armor, even counting the reinforcement. Put those on. Okay, we did it. That's this whole odyssey in the south of Duratar finished. Thank you very much for like the video, subscribe to the channel. And uh, consider leaving a comment. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see more of. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next one.